Division for ages 8 to 9. When working on division, the children will use all the multiplication tables facts up to 12 times 12. So here's the 3s, the 4s, the 8s. For example, they'll use the fact that 7 8s are 56 to say that 56 divided by 7 must be 8, or 56 divided by 8 must be 7. In their mental work, they will extend their skills to solve questions such as 600 divided by 3 knowing that because 2 times 3 is 6, then 6 divided by 3 must be 2, and 200 times 3 must be 600, so 600 divided by 3 must be 200. They will continue to learn how to divide 2-digit and 3-digit numbers by 1-digit numbers. They may use some equipment to illustrate this type of question. For example, here's 38, 3 tens, and 8 units. We could say we're going to share between 2, 38, shared between two. So we can share those two tens, but this ten will need to be swapped for ten extra units. So we can swap this ten for ten extra units. That ten goes. So now we've got 18 units altogether. Share those between two, and there will be nine on each side. So 38 divided by two gives us 19. Ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. But we will be seeking to achieve a situation where the children aren't using the equipment. And then we can write these out using formal written short division. And here we use a shorthand way of speaking. We say, how many twos are there in three? Well, there's one two in three and there's one left over. How many twos in 18? There are nine. So 38 divided by two gives us 19. 57 divided by 3. Again, using the shorthand way of speaking, how many 3s in 5? 1. With 2 10s left over, so we've now got 27. How many 3s in 27? That's 9. So 57 divided by 3 is 19. This question, of course, says 868. So 8 hundreds, 6 tens, 8 units, divided by 7. But we say, how many 7s in 8? 1. With 1 left over. So we've now got 16 here, that's 16 tens. But we say, how many sevens in 16? Two. Two sevens are 14, so we've got two left over. How many sevens in 28? Four. So the answer, 124. The children need to practice. Confidence in knowing how to find the answers is the key to mathematical success.